Welcome back. You're with us here on Aspire. Time to take a look at what's been buzzing in the world of tech. Including this game when it comes to multiplayer modes. This is the big thing in the world of mobile gaming. Take a look. Can't do without Twitter even on a vacation? Then head over to Spain. At the Soul Wave House in Majorca, Twitter is a very important part of the experience. Tagged as the world's first Twitter hotel, it connects everyone in the hotel to their own social community. So you can meet, interact, tweet and a whole lot more. Guests can order room service, a drink by the pool or communicate with the concierge desk or the hotel staff with hashtags. <music> Lenovo has introduced some new tablets in the market both on the Android and the Windows 8 operating system. And the pick of the lot is the ThinkPad 2. Powered by a dual-core Intel Atom processor and 2 GB of RAM, the tablet is capable of running Windows 8 Pro. It has a 10.1-inch display, a stylus and a lot more connectivity options than other tablets. It also comes with dual cameras and is priced under 55,000 rupees. Nvidia Shield is now available in international markets for $300. This is the company's first gaming handheld and promises some great hardware. Designed for the console gamer on the move, it has a full-fledged controller and a 5-inch HD display. It's the first device to support the Tegra 4 processor and since it's based on Android, it can handle all Google Play apps and even stream PC games through a Wi-Fi connection. On the mobile gaming front, Riptide GP2 is out. The sequel to the popular jet ski racing game, this one is better in every sense. A career mode that's more engaging, upgrading and purchasing new hydro jets and lots of new tricks and new tracks. The big change is that Riptide now supports up to 4 players in an online mode so you can compete with friends no matter where they are. The game is available for $3 on iOS and Android and it's totally worth it for all racing fans. Nokia's Lumia 925 is now available for pre-order in India. This is similar to the Lumia 920 except that it comes in a metallic body. The smartphone carries a price tag of 34,000 rupees which we feel is pretty reasonable for the specifications. It has a 4.5 inch AMOLED display with HD resolution. Running on Windows Phone 8, the Lumia 925 is powered by a 1.5 GHz dual core processor, 1 GB of RAM and 12 GB of internal storage. It features Nokia's PureView technology with an 8.7 megapixel camera that's great for low light conditions. Nokia has been doing great stuff on the camera front and this will bear fruit in the newly announced Lumion 1020. The 1020 is powered by a dual core processor and sports a similar 4.5 inch AMOLED screen but the big jump comes in the camera department as Nokia has packed in a 41 megapixel sensor with floating lens technology. Nokia has specially designed a pro camera app that gives total control over shutter speed, exposure and other parameters. This is one of the most promising smartphones and its camera might just turn out to be the best of the lot. It's also expected to hit the Indian market pretty soon. All right, on that note, let's take a quick break here on a spa. When we return, we are going to Pangea, the newest addition to the nightclub space. This one's in Delhi.